Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are going to continue our generative AI playlist. And in this video, we are going to probably discuss about another end-to-end -end project with the help of Langchain. And we'll also be doing the deployment of uh, in the Hugging Face, uh, Hugging Face space itself. Uh, all these things is going to happen. It is going to be amazing. Uh, now in this project, first of all, I'll talk about what kind of projects we are going to do in this. We are going to build a conversational QA chatbot, Q&A chatbot, right? That basically means this chatbot will also be able to remember the context. Now, if I share my screen, the thing that we probably discussed in our previous session in the playlist itself, we saw that uh, some of the basic functionalities, how to probably create a lang chain, uh, sorry, how to use lang chain, how to use chains, how to use LLM chains, how to probably uh, write your own prompt template, you know, how to combine multiple chains. And finally, we had also seen one very important topic, which is called as chat models. I hope you remember all these topics because this is what we have actually discussed in our previous session. Now, with the help of this chat models, you now chat models, what it has, it has three important things, three important schema. One is the human message, system message and AI message. Now, with the help of this three, we are probably going to create a conversational Q&A chatbot. That basically means the chatbot will be able to remember the context, right? So how we are going to develop it, what will be the process of developing it and how this end-to-end -end project will also be deployed in the Hugging Face space, we will be seeing that. So I hope everybody is quite excited with respect to this particular project. Already in our previous project, we had discussed how to create a Q&A, simple Q&A chatbot. Now understand one thing guys, the complexity of these projects will keep on increasing with every video. Now, this is the video in documentation. Everything is given, but how you can probably convert that into an end to end project. That is what we are going to see. OK, so uh, let's go ahead and let's start this particular thing. And we are probably going to do the coding from scratch here. I'm just going to create app one dot py. This will be my another file and uh, we will probably create this particular uh, project. And this project name, as I said, is conversational conversational. Q and a chatbot. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's start this. First of all, all the process of creating an environment requirement.txt. I have already told that in the previous session. So I will not repeat that because that will probably take another 10 to 12 minutes of time. I really want you all to be very good at all this kind of project development because in the companies now they are quickly developing applications. They're quickly fine tuning with their own data sets and creating some powerful LLM models itself. So let's go ahead. And first of all, as usual, I will go ahead and um, go ahead and import some of the important libraries like Streamlit from Streamlit as ST. Uh, Along with Streamlit, as I always suggested that what we are specifically going to use, we are going to use this, right? So from Langchain schema, I'm going to import all these three libraries because this will be responsible in probably understanding the context. But how we are going to save this context and all, we'll just discuss about it. Again, for this, I'm going to use Streamlit, okay? In Streamlit, you have uh, session management through which you will be able to manage and remember the context of each of the message that is probably coming up. Next library that we are probably going to import is nothing but chat underscore models import chat open AI. I'm going to probably use this chat open AI. So this is done. Now, Let's go ahead and start our streamlet UI. Okay. Now in this streamlet UI, let's go and see st dot set. First of all, we'll set our page config. So I'm just going to define page config. This is the basic information that you probably need to write for your introduction page. So here I'm going to probably write page title is equal to conversational Q and A chatbot okay so this is what i'm going to specifically use and then i will go ahead and update my st dot header so that i will be able to so hey let's chat okay something like this a kind of message which will motivate you to chat with this q uh, conversational qa chatbot so these are the basic things that we are probably going to use it now 
let's uh, go ahead and define some of the things first of all as i have already imported chat open ai let's go ahead and initialize this again to initialize what all things we will specifically be used to run in our local environment we will go ahead and import load underscore dot env as you know uh, in our dot env file i have the key itself right uh, the uh, open ai api key so i will be importing this along with this i will also be using this particular code but when we deploy that in the hugging face uh, library at that point of time i don't have to i can comment down this specific code okay so this is done now the next step is that we will go ahead and quickly import chat let's see this chat open ai we'll initialize this okay and let me just go ahead and give my temperature value i hope everybody knows what this temperature is 2.5 okay now quickly uh, along with this what we will do we will also set up uh let's see where that is i think it is not there but when we are initializing the model name what we can specifically do is that use uh, os dot get env right so that is specifically required if you are able to write that so that we will be able to call the key itself right so quickly i will go over here and uh, let me just go ahead and write first of all i'll save this okay okay let it be right now just i will just initialize this particular chat open api um, later on we'll get an error so we will go ahead and probably update the api key okay for updating the api key only i just need to import os and just write os dot get env with respect to the api key whatever the api key is then so this is done very much simple step by step we have specifically done this now let's go ahead and define our one function the one function will be this one get open ai so here we have already initialized this one so i will remove this particular code the question that we are going to get right from the user end that specific thing is the question over here now once we get this particular question according to our schema langchain schema right whenever we give a question that actually becomes a human message right whenever by default you want to provide that chatbot a default domain message let's say you need uh, you need to act like a comedy chatbot something like that so that actually becomes the system message and whenever the chatbot or the llm model which provides the response that actually becomes an ai message okay so we need to set this up in sessions right so we need to store all these particular values in sessions so that the entire chatbot will be able to remember the context okay so what we are specifically going to do over here is that in app1.py first of all i will just go ahead and show you what is streamlit session session state so if you probably see this documentation <clears throat> there's a good video that is given over here this is how we need to probably save this session right so let's say we can probably create our own key with respect to session and assign a value and if that particular key exists that basically means this session value is already present if it does not exist you can initialize a new value whenever you want so what i will uh, do is that we will also create a session key and here we will store all the values whether it is a human message first or an ai message or a system message and based on that we will append that specific value so how to specifically do it i will just open it over here and here whenever i get a question i will probably say st dot st is a alias of streamlet so here i'm going to basically write st dot session state and here i will provide my own key okay the key can be anything let's say i will write something like uh, uh, flow messages what flow message we are specifically getting okay flow messages now inside this we will go ahead and append first i will append this specific question now in order to append this question i have to use the schema what schema i'll be using i will use human message schema 
and here i will specifically define content as my variable there is a parameter human message which we specifically need to give it as content we have already seen over here as an example like how whenever we use system message human message the first parameter is content right so that is the reason i give this as a one shot video right so you need to check all these things in my previous video tutorials itself right so here i'm going to probably assign this to the question perfect now this i am setting up a session state over here right with this particular variable now before i set this particular uh, variable or uh, with some values i can also write one condition outside if something like flow messages right because this is my session state if flow messages not in st dot session state so i'm just saying that whether first of all initially we'll check whether this session where key is actually available or not if it is not available then what we will do i will write st dot session state session state with this key that is my flow messages is equal to let's give our default whatever is the default the system message right so i will write I will just copy this app dot py, sorry, lang chain. I will copy something like this, okay, and I will paste it over here. So what I'm saying by default, if there is no session as such, the first message that should probably be going in this is the kind of a system message which is saying the chatbot to act as a comedian AI assistant, okay, something like this. So this is perfect. I've set this up initially. The first message that is going to get appended is nothing but this. Then whenever user or human being ask any question, it is going to get appended in the form of human message, right? Now, in order to get the answer for this human message, what answer we are going to say get. So here I will basically write answer is equal to. Now, in order to probably use this i will be using the same chat we have initialized over here and here we are probably going to give the entire st dot session right uh underscore state with respect to the flow messages right so this is what because the the chat that is probably going to this chat is nothing but it is just like uh, our model is doing the prediction for all the messages that are appended inside this particular session state right through this you will be able to get the answer now once you get the answer okay once you get the answer we need to do one more thing we need to append this answer inside this by using what we need to use here we will be using an ai message because that is the response that we specifically get from the llm model so here i'm going to use the ai message and here we are basically going to use the answer but inside this there will be one more variable called as dot content okay so this is what we are specifically doing as soon as a human asks a question first of all it needs to get appended inside this and when the model is predicting we need to give the entire session state over here and once we get the answer this is nothing but the ai message this is also what i am specifically appending now after this we are just going to return <clears throat> after this we are specifically going to return our answer dot content right this is what we are specifically going to uh, provide the response so this is what uh, get open ai response instead of this i will say chat model response okay this is done now perfect all you have to do is that call all these things you can see now we can probably call this input this 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 and the response is something like this this is what we require the final thing so this initially we give the input then we call this model over here all right we get the response right uh button is over here as soon as the button is clicked the response is this and this now let's see let's run this probably i will get one error you know and obviously everybody knows the error what exactly it is uh, I will just close this up. Okay, CLS. Now let's run this, and here I'm just going to say app1.py. 
I'll, I'm definitely going to get one error, I guess. So let's see if you don't get an error. Okay, we will get an error, I guess. Open AI error. Okay, so set underscore page config. Come on. One error I can see over here instead of saying set. <laughs> I've written set plus, right? It should be set underscore. Now let's rerun this. Uh, set page config underscore page title. Okay, no worries. I'm just fixing some error. Rerun, input, ask the question. So here we have not got any error because probably from the ENV as soon as we write load underscore dot ENV, so automatically it is being able to read it. Now let's give the input. Hey, hi. Let's see whether it runs fine or not. So this is what, hey, hello, how can I assist you? Now understand, this is my human message that is gone. Uh, it has got appended. This is basically the AI message that has got appended. Now I will say, do you know my name? So I'll ask the question. As an assistant, I don't have access to personal information until you provide it to me. So I will say, please remember my name which is Krish Nayak, okay? Something like this. <clears throat> so it will tell me, of course, Krish Nayak, I'll do my best to remember your name. How can I assist today, Krish? So I'll start, so what is my name? Now see, it is being able to remember the context or not. Great. See this? Uh, can you tell me the capital of India, Russia, Japan, China, um, UK, and I'll ask the question. Certainly, these are this, 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 okay? So I've got the answer. Now I'll say, can you tell me all the country's name of which capital I asked? Okay, so let's see whether it will be able to say. Here are countries corresponding to the capital you asked. So all, all the information is basically coming up. Okay, then again, let me ask, what is my name? Then it is going to tell me. What is my full name? Ask question. See, so this is what? Okay, now it has lost all the information. My name is Krishna. So finally, when I ask the same question again, it is probably going to give me the same answer. That basically means it is able to remember the context. And this is how a powerful conversational Q&A chatbot is basically created. Uh, understand one thing, whatever things we have used over here, it is quite amazing. But just get the crust over here. What we are specifically doing, whatever things we have learned over here, we are going to build it in such a way that it can be created and used in a project. Uh, one thing that I'm actually going to do in the next video is that I'll also try to include some amazing prompt templates and create one more project. So I hope you were able to understand this particular video. I hope you like this particular video. This was it for my side. Uh, I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Take care. Bye-bye.